<clears throat> okay, I'm just gonna fire up my tablet. And we'll just give it a couple of seconds and wait for some people to jump on. Got my coffee, my Timmy's. Hello, Steph. How are you? Hi, Kathy. How are you guys? <clears throat> so today we're going to be using the awesome otters and one of the cards I'm going to pull in the party puffins and I have three cards prepped for tonight um, got some fussy cutting done and we'll see that should save a little bit of time I didn't do any of the coloring with the Stampin' Up! blend so we can chat while I do a little bit of coloring. And I'm trying to remember what, because I had these cards prepped a couple of days ago and I did not make the cards in advance so we'll see if I remember what I'm going with. Hi Paula! <clears throat> okay, so let's see. Card number one. So I have a Knight of Navy card base, eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. Piece of fresh freesia, four by five and a quarter. A piece of the celebration, what's the name of it? Stampendous, Stampendous, marble, something like that. 3.75 by 5, and I had a basic white, 4 by 5 and a quarter for the inside. I have a strip of paper for my decorative piece. I have a label die cut out from the Hippo and Die Friends. Yeah, it's marvelous something, right? Simply marvelous. Um, I have the paper right here. Simply marvelous. Yep. I think it was something with marvelous in it. And then out of the stitch rectangles, I have the smallest and then the next size up in white and fresh freesia. I cut out a starfish and sand dollar. And then I cut out some little um, seaweed sprigs. So, that's what I got prepped for this card. And I think for this card here, whoops, I want to do the otter that is um, sitting in the water. So let's grab him. Sounds good, Steph. Multitask away. Okay, so I'm just going to grab a scrap piece of paper so I can color on. And I have my memento. Do I want to have him in the middle or do I want him down here? I think I'm going to put him in the middle. Well, not in the middle, but closer to the middle. He's so cute. He is adorable. Okay. Okay, so I thought, oh, I got to grab my balmy blue blend. 
just a sec. Okay, so I have the balmy blue, and I have night and navy. I have light and dark crumb cake. And that's probably all we're going to need for this card. Okay. Let's get cracking. Okay, so I got my light balmy blue, and I'm just going to color. And then I'll go in with a little bit of the dark and we'll do a little bit of accenting. I might not even need my night and navy because I think night and navy might be too dark. And I'm just going to go like under where those I'm going to color those little water splashes with the darker balmy blue, or is this a light night in navy? Dark balmy blue. Hi Penny! They do lighten up a little bit as they dry on the paper, yes. Yes they do. And this is the light balmy blue, so. And I don't know if you guys can see that on camera, but I, there's a little bit of shading there. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my light and dark crumb cake. And I'm gonna do the inner part light and the outer part dark. I mean you can use gray too. I think there's such thing as gray otters and brown otters so. And where I want it darker I'm just going to go over in the kind of the same spot. And then He is so cute. It's almost kind of a bummer that after February 28th, these guys are going to be no longer available. Okay, so again, I'm just going to go where I want it dark, a little bit darker the same color and I'm going to grab black for his nose Copic marker is not where it's supposed to be. What did I do with that now? Oh, oh, found it. Found it. Okay. And I'm going to go back over with the light because I see a little bit of the dark kind of came on this side of the and then I have my Wink of Stella and I'm going to add some glitter just to my water like that. 
And no, I, I was gonna give him rosy cheeks, but I'm not gonna. I think I'm just gonna leave him as is. Okay, so he can go with all my other elements. And then I'm gonna grab And out of the same set, we have It's Birthday Time. And I'm going to stamp that in Night and Navy. Yeah, I'm, this is card number one. So you're not really missing anything. And hopefully this is straight. And I think that's pretty good. Pretty good. You guys with your otter puns. Okay, so I'm gonna glue this down. So there's that. And now I can start gluing all my pieces together. And this white piece is a little bit too small, so I'm going to grab another piece. I'm pretty sure that was 3.75 by 5, and I want 4 by 5 and a quarter. Okay. Hi, Hildy. And my card, I'm going to put the stripe going up and down. So let's do that. So for anybody who doesn't know, um, we had to say goodbye to our fur baby on Wednesday. Um, it's been pretty rough. Um, originally my husband wanted to take, take a break, um, but the day after we had to say goodbye, um, he told me that he wants to go on the foster list. So that makes me very happy because I think rescuing another dog will help us heal. And whether we foster, fail, foster, fail, or adopt, like we're just going to take it slow and what will be, will be. Um, but we're definitely going to foster another pit bull because Logan kind of stole our hearts. 
yeah so definitely want to rescue another pit bull for sure okay so I was thinking this was gonna go right about there I'm just trying not to choke up but it's hard um, so I think I'm gonna glue this piece down and I was thinking I was gonna glue this piece right about here and then I want it to pop up my um, pop up my sand dollar and uh, I might have to move this down a little bit because I don't want to I don't want to cover up too much of my otter, you know? So, and then I thought we would just glue some of these little sprigs. Thank you, everybody. Yeah, but I, I truly believe, um, you know, if you love animals, you should be around them, you know? And I really think helping another dog will help us to heal. Okay, I'm not digging I'm not digging the balmy blue, so I think I'm going to put one here and just kind of have another one here. Because the blue's getting lost against the blue. Okay, I need another sip of coffee. Hi, Hildy. Did I say hi to you? I'm sorry if I did. If, if I didn't. Okay. And then we'll add some bling bling, you know. Okay, so. And this is a very simple card, you know. I think all the cards tonight are going to be pretty simple yeah pit bulls get a real bad a real bad rap and I mean so many of them have been you know failed upon and when Logan was he was Logan was a, a local surrender when he was surrendered like his skin was so bad that he was bleeding like he like his skin was raw because the people had him on cheap food and you know it's just terrible terrible what these animals have to go through like it's just it's really sickening and um And, and although they've been failed, you know, some of them, like Logan was the sweetest dog ever, like, just a big baby. And, uh, so we kind of want to honor him by adopting another one, or at least fostering to begin with. And we'll see where it goes from there. Yeah, animal, it's, I'm bad for watching, especially pit bull videos, because um, I like watching pit bull and parolees, and I find some of those cases down in the States are the absolute worst cases I've ever seen. Like, I know we have it here in Canada too, but you don't hear it as bad as you do down in the States, and Oh, it just makes me cry. Makes me cry. I've just never been pet free before and I don't want to start, you know? Okay, so what do you think? Pretty cute, right? And I think I'm gonna add Wink of Stella to my starfish and my sand dollar. And then we'll add some rhinestones. 
And then card number one is done. It is cute. Okay, so we're going to do some pearls. Because pearls are found in the ocean. So, um, take your pick. Hi, G Ann. How are you? Good to see you. I've been pretty bad at not um, not going to uh, the Two Sues um, YouTube videos. I've been going through a little rough patch right now, so. But I will. I will. I will eventually heal, and you know, we'll we'll get through it. We'll get through it. Yeah, I think that's. That's, I don't think I want to add anything other than that. I think I'm happy with that. So that is card number one. And that didn't take too long, really. So I will put that aside. And we'll work on card number two. Like I said, I've not made these cards in advance. I just kind of had an idea. And got them prepped. So card number two. I have, oh look, I have another white piece that's too small. So, I just need to cut another piece for the inside. Four by five and a quarter. Thank you, Paula. Okay, so we have gray granite, eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. Piece of basic white, four by five and a quarter. Strip of the same Simply Marvelous paper. This is basic gray, four by five and a quarter. And then I took petal pink and white, and I cut different strips at different widths. So we have white and petal pink, and I ran those through my tasteful textiles embossing folder. And then I have Coastal Cabana and the gray of the Simply Marvelous. And I thought I would just add a bunch of strips um, to my uh, basic gray piece. So let's get this. Sorry if I was out of frame. Um, I moved my, my phone and I'm not used to it being so far in this way. Hi, Vicki. Thank you everybody for coming. Okay, so we're gonna just add a piece of the paper. So I wasn't sure if I was gonna do my live tonight because I've been so emotional, but I think it's good to get back into it and chat with you guys. And uh, I appreciate everybody coming and helping me through this difficult time. Okay. Okay, so that's the inside. Easy peasy. Now, this piece. Like I said, I have not made this card in advance. So I'm just going to play around here. Just kind of see what I want to do. Like I only cut like two strips of each. Ooh, I guess I need a gray piece in here too. So let's go like that. So I was thinking something along this line here. 
Now I gotta figure out if I want to glue this down and then trim my edge pieces, or if I wanna use my banners pick a punch. What do you guys think? I'll let you guys decide. Glue and cut, trim off the edges or trim down my paper with my banners pick a punch. Glue and cut, okay. One for glue and cut. Glue and trim, okay. I think that's probably a good choice. Okay, so. And I think as I do this, I'm gonna like angle it a little bit. And I'm okay with like overlapping a little bit. And I want a little bit of that uh, gray space, right? Whoops, peeking through. Actually, I should have a piece of paper under here. This glue can be very messy. Okay, so now. Do the light. Probably less messy if I just put the glue down and then the paper. So now I need a coastal cabana piece. I'm going to set this aside to dry for a couple of minutes. It won't take long. I find Tombow doesn't take long to dry. Okay, so. Uh oh. Oh, it's okay. Okay. Oh, I love my glue eraser. Okay, so I guess we can color the otter. So we're gonna do this guy this time. And let's do this guy in grays because we got gray in our paper. So I have light and dark gray granite. Yep, light and dark gray granite. And I will probably color his nose in black again. So let's do his insides light. And then I'll probably just, where I want a little bit darker, just go over it twice. I feel like my blends are like drying up already and I've hardly used these. Seriously, I have not used these much. And I want his nose black. Okay. 
Then I have my dark gray granite. He's cute too. This is the first time I'm using this guy. And these guys are pretty easy to color in, like seriously. Not much, not much to do here other than, you know, color them in. And I, I don't worry too much about shading. I just color him in and then I, where I want it a little bit darker, I just go over it twice or three times. Although I find there's not much contrast between his tummy and so I might have to take my colorless and just go in here and take a little bit of that color out. Just a little bit. Just to lighten them up a little bit. Now this guy, I think I want to give rosy cheeks. So. And I just used my Copic marker R20, which is called blush. Okay, so that's him colored in. He's pretty cute too. Okay, so let's bring back this, and it's probably, um, I think I'm going to grab my little trimmer for this. Uh, celebration goes till February 28th. But I wouldn't wait till February 28th to get, you know, any celebration stuff because it's while supplies last. So... And you don't want to miss out. Oh, I guess I I uh, I put my strip. <laughs> uh, I thought the car was going to go up and down this way, but I think I originally had a plan to go this way. So my decorated inside is up there, but that is okay. That's fine. It's fine. So I'm thinking I want to cut this down a little bit. And then mat it with um, a Bermuda Bay piece. I think so. I think that's what I want to do. So I'm changing it up. So we're going to go 3.75 by 5. And then we're going to go 4. Four by five and a quarter. Because I think I want to have a splash of color behind my busy color piece. Is what I'm thinking. So, like that. Okay. And then I thought I would pop him up and then just do like uh, do like a happy birthday this is from party puffins happy birthday so let's 
get that mounted. And what color should I put that on? Do you think I should put it on a white piece? Or should I put it on a gray granite piece? Um, I think maybe. I'm thinking gray granite is what I'm thinking. Okay. So, let me... And I have my rectangle dies here. Well, that's a little bit. I might just use my banners pick a punch for this. So let's grab my memento. this down and then I'm going to flag it with my banner stick a punch. I think I think. to get it kind of and what do you think should we add some fishes add some fishies to this or not If I like the gray. What do you think? I'm not digging the gray, I don't think. Because he's gray. Switching it up, people. Switching it up. Switching it up. Changing my mind. That's what I get for not having these cards done in advance. Oh well. Okay, so. I think white will stand out better. I do, I do. Okay. Let's see. I definitely got to pop him up for sure. And I kind of want to pop up my happy birthday too. Okay, I'm just going to make this a little bit shorter. Okay. 
like that. Okay. So I'm gonna have that right there. Like that. And I'm gonna pop him up. Okay. I think I need to add dotage or something to this. It's looking a little I need to break it up somehow. Okay. I know there's dotage in, I think the otters have a, no, okay, so. Friends are like seashells, has dotage. And let's do the dotage in petal pink, because I want a nice light color. And then we can ink the edges like uh, Penny suggests and maybe Coastal Cabana. Okay, so let's add some dotage. And I'm going to do dark on the edges and light in the middle. Sponge well, I only have five sponge robbers, but this kind of has like a. So I'm gonna grab Coastal Cabana because that's what color is in my DSP. And then I have an idea that was going to be for the next card, but I'm going to do it on this one too, I think. Okay. Okay, so there's that. Did I freeze up? I gotta go back out and come back in. Cause I froze. I froze. Yeah, cause, yeah, okay. So I wasn't seeing comments. Hi, Melanie. Okay, so. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna pop that up and pop the otter up. So I'm gonna glue him to the banner piece and then pop the whole thing up, I think. And you think he needs something behind him? So, I was thinking we could take a little fishy with a bow and add it to the otter. And let's color him in. And I'm going to color the fish. Oh, I gotta color him something that's gonna stand out. Um, let me see what else I got for Stampin' Up Lens. Okay, so. I think I'm going to color the fish. Whoops. I don't like those ends. I'm going to color the fish 
in green and do the bow in petal pink. And we'll add a fishy. I don't know. I'm, I'm not liking the sentiment. What do you think? No, I don't know. So I'm going to add Wink of Stella to my fish. And I'm going to add it to his belly. Yeah, that looks better. Of course, you guys can't see that. Okay, so I'm going to glue this down. I'm just going to try something because Steph's got me questioning myself. Okay, so I'm just going to run something to his Sadie. I'll be right back. Okay, so I cut out a partial circle and then I ran it through the Tasteful Textiles embossing folder. And I think I'm just going to put that there like that. Add my otter. I'm not digging this sentiment though. I'm not digging it. So we're going to scrap that and we'll figure something else out. But what do you think? Do you like the, do you like the circle? And I think maybe if I just white emboss happy birthday on this, what do you think? With white embossing powder. Do you like that idea? I'm changing it up here because I really don't like it. Okay. So, I think I'm going to try that. Uh, where is my embossing powder? Oh, I need my embossing buddy. Mars 
question mark. Am I not seeing comments again? Oh my goodness, this is really aggravating me. Like the circle, okay. Okay. I'm not seeing comments again. So I'm gonna put it right in the middle and then I'll decide where I wanna chop my um, paper later. my white embossing powder and this is going to get loud for a second I'm just going to trim this down because it's a little crooked. A little crooked. And I think this is going to look much better. And I think this is going to look much better. Much better. Okay, so. I'm going to glue my circle down and then I'm going to pop up my otter. And I think I'm going to put this piece in here. Now I want to cut it to the right length first so and I kind of want it centered so we're gonna go like that so let me glue this piece down piece down like that I'm making you like the otter set oh good yeah, I think it looks better this way. And this is why Gail makes her cards in advance. Because <laughs> an idea I have in my head, I think it's going to work. And then, yeah, then I'm always changing my mind. But that's okay, too. Nothing wrong with changing your mind. Oh, did I glue that right? Okay, phew. I was like, oh. I hope I didn't glue that upside down. All right, so let's pop up our otter. And we're going to have to pop up the fishy too. Okay. And I need some minis, a mini for his tail. And I'm going to have to cut a little because I don't want him to sag. 
No. Don't want no saggy bits. Okay. Now I'm going to have to cut a little piece of this off because I don't want that to overhang. Okay. That should be good. Okay, so he's gonna go there like that. And then I need to pop up my fish. Now I was going to put him on this side, but I think he might be too close to the edge, so we're going to put him on this side. Like that. And then we're going to add some bling bling. And I definitely want to do colored rhinestones this time. Uh, so I have the Holiday Rhinestone Basic Jewels, and I believe this has Coastal Cabana in it, so we'll do that. Okay. Coastal Cabana! And two, and... Three. There, that is card number two. I like I like the white embossing better. I think that was the right choice. And the white circle behind him was the right choice. So thank you, Steph. I appreciate that. Okay, so that is card number two. And here's a closer look. I added Wink of Stella to his tummy and the fishy. Super cute. Okay, I gotta go back out and come back in. Cause I'm not seeing comments. All right, that was card number two. Now, where is card number three? Okay, so card number three. Again, it's going to be another simple card. I stamped and cut out a puffin. I stamped and cut out two little fishies. I Well, originally three fishies, but I stole one for that card we just did. So we'll have to make do with two for this one. Um, I have a piece of basic white and this is four and three quarters by three and then a piece of petal pink which is three and a quarter by five so the white is gonna get mounted on the petal pink piece um, this is the celebration paper from the Oh gosh. Hello friend, I think it's called. Friendly Hello. So this is the paper that goes with that bird and flower celebration um, stamp set. So striped paper is from that. And this is four by five and a quarter. Four by five and a quarter. And then a strip of the designer series paper. This is shaded spruce, eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. So let's get the inside done first. And my card is gonna go up and down this way. So I want my striped paper down at the bottom. Thank you, everybody.
and my husband, God love him, he works out a couple times a week, six o'clock, Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays, and he puts off his workout until 7 p.m. so I can get my live done because the exercise room is right above my craft room and some of the machinery is quite loud so he doesn't want to interrupt my my live. Isn't that sweet? And today is my hubby's birthday. A couple of days ago was our anniversary and we both totally forgot because we've been so upset about losing our puppy dog that yeah totally forgot. Okay, so this is gonna just get glued on like that. Okay, so that could be set aside for now. I gotta bring back my little scrap piece of paper. Now the puffin, he's pretty easy to color in. I'm just gonna use, I have light and dark Calypso coral. And the dark is gonna go on his odor beak and his feet. And then the light Calypso Coral is going to go on this part of his beak. And then I'm going to take my blush and give him a rosy cheek. And then I'm going to grab my Wink of Stella and do his belly. He needs a little bit of glitter. Okay. So puffin is done. Okay, so this piece here, I thought it would be cute to stamp. Whoops. The same guy we just did. Okay. Stay up the otter here, and hopefully that's clean. Have my puff in here, and then I don't even think I'm gonna. Ha I was gonna stamp the birthday cake in the middle, but I don't know if I have enough room for the birthday cake. Let me see. birthday cake. Well, he can go off the paper a little bit, right? So, okay. Okay, so let's stamp our cake. And let's stamp our otter and we'll pop up the puffin. Like that. Okay. And let's get that out of the way. And we have like, I'm just gonna color like with the matching stripes of the paper. So I have petal pink, I have, I know it's granny apple green, but I have, I have olive. 
I also have mint macaron, which I think will look good. And I have so saffron for the candles, for the flames. Um, let's do the candles in, oh, I don't like that side, this side, the uh, Bermuda Bay. Um, this is Petal Pink. Nope, this is Calypso Coral. Um, I think I'm going to do Petal Pink because I'm going to make the icing white. And the cake we're going to do in Petal Pink. And then the dish. Um, that shade is spruce, definitely not. Pool party. Let's use pool party. That's shaded spruce. Definitely not. Okay. So, pool party, I think, might look all right. Actually, we have mint macaron. We'll do the plate in mint macaron. And then I'm going to wink a Stella the icing. And then I think the otters I'm going to do in the crumb cake because I really like the contrast that I had with the light and dark. I think, I think. Okay, I gotta go back up and back in because I'm not seeing no comments. I need a sip of my coffee. Okay, so for our birthday, his birthday and our anniversary, because there's only three days in between, I'm going to get an Italian artist to do a pencil portrait of Logan. And we've commissioned work from him before, and he is amazing. I will post all the pictures on my Facebook page for you guys to see once we get it done. But he's amazing. Um, I met him in a Etsy chat room back in 2008. And he did a pencil portrait of our previous dog. And we lost that dog. Um four years ago, right before we rescued Logan. So we had the we had the artist do the portrait well before we actually lost him. But it's it's he, he's just so amazing. Like his work is amazing. And it's a picture that we will have and cherish for forever. So of course when we lost Logan we wanted to get another portrait done. And, um, like his work is so amazing. He, it just looks like a black and white photograph, but it's an actual pencil drawing. So talented. Of course, he's a little bit more expensive now than he was 14 years ago, but that is okay. It's worth every penny. I definitely like the crumb cake better than the light and dark gray granite. Much better. Much better. Okay, so I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do his nose and the dark crumb cake too, but I'm just going to go over it a little bit more to make it darker. And I went outside the lines a little bit, so I need my colorless back 
coat. Back it. Okay. So I just want to kind of get rid of that. Okay. Actually, I think I might do with nose black. I think it'll stand out better. Okay, so Puffin's going to go there like that. I just got to see how this is going to fit. Because I thought about angling this piece. And I definitely want room for my little fishies like that. Where is my color list? Oh, I just had it. Oh, there it is. Okay. So let's color in my fishies and we're going to do where is my dark mint macaron. So I'm going to do I'm going to color them both the same. And I think I'm going to do the fishies in a light gray. I will show you the portrait, absolutely. He is amazing. I'll actually, in the description, below my YouTube video I will put a link to his Instagram page and you can actually see part of the portrait of our previous dog like it's it's like a black and white photograph he is so amazing like So we need another happy birthday. Um, and I'm also just stick with the same stamp because I think I'm the same thing. I'm just going to put it on a banner piece. And I might do Shaded Spruce because that's my card base color. And I got lots of scraps. So, might as well use them up. Okay, there's some more. Embossing body. And I'm going to do it, I think, in white again. Because white pops on darker colors, I find. And I think I'm going to have to add dotage to that white background piece because it's it looks so bare. Okay, I'm just going to get loud again for a sec.
puffin would look good on a wobbler. I don't, I don't have any wobblers. I don't. Okay, so let's. Um, I think I'm gonna cut this out. Uh, that's a little bit too big. Let me see. That's a little bit. Eh, don't like that. Let me see what else I have for label dies. I gotta have something here. Okay, I have the stitched whimsy dies and I'm gonna die cut this. It's not gonna die cut it, it's just gonna put stitches around it and then I'll fussy cut around it. Okay, so now I'm just gonna trim this really close to the the stitch. Can you see that on there? The stitch die. Doesn't actually cut out the That's too big, I don't like it. I don't like it. I mean, I could. Let's see, cut around the stitches. See if I like that. What do you think? Do you guys like that? I mean, I think I'll have to pop it up, of course, but... I'm not seeing comments. This is really irritating me. Put it on the left corner over here. Popped up. Because I'm going to glue this piece down and I'm going to pop up my puffin and pop up happy birthday. I just think it's too big. I'm just gonna fussy cut around the birthday. It was a good idea, but I didn't like the look of it. So now I can just pop that up. But I think I need dotage on this piece here because it does look a little plain. 
and I have my dotage from this and I think I'm gonna grab my pear pizzazz and there's purple in the paper so And I'm just going to do like a little bit in the corners. Okay, dotage. I might just do a little bit about the bottom. Like that. I've got some ink smudges, so now I gotta go back in and cover those up. This is that maybe I want to go like that, angle it that way. Yeah, let's do that. Let's angle it. Instead of just like matting it. angle it. Oh, I think I froze up again. Sorry guys, this live is just not cooperating. Okay, so we're going to glue that down. pop up the puffin and the fishies and the happy birthday. Okay. I need my dimensionals again. Okay. It's going to go there. And he's going to go there. And then he's going to go there. And then this is going to go Right about there. Thank you for sticking with me. I know when I change my mind, I get back and forth, back and forth. But okay, and I think I want my sentiment to be straight on the card. So just like that. 
Okay, now, done with my glue. Gonna, do I want to add some, some bling bling? What do you think? Or is the card busy enough without adding bling bling? What you think? Okay. And I'll have to go and come back in so I can see your answer to that. stuff out of the way here I don't think yeah I don't think I need bling bling either I think it's pretty I think it's pretty cute the way it is so I think he turned out pretty cute I might actually add a little bit of black stickles to his nose. I don't have it um, right near me. I'd have to go searching for it, but I think I'm going to add some black stickles to his nose. I think that would be really cute. So that was card number three. bring back card number two there was card number two and this is card number one so which one was your favorite one two or three Yeah, they do have black stickles. I've used it. I used to use it a long time ago, all the time. And I don't throw nothing away, so I'm pretty sure I still have it. I just think having a little bit of glitter on his nose would be really cute. I don't know. I think I like this one, card number one. I think that's my favorite. But I think they're all cute. But I think this one's my favorite. Too hard to choose only one. Kathy likes three. Paula likes them all. Hildy likes one, two, one, three, and two. Yeah, I think one, three, and two. I think I'm with Hildy. And this is the one that I kept changing my mind on. <laughs> but I really think the puffin's cute to bring in as well. Because they're kind of, you know, water creatures, right? All right, well, that's it, everybody. I gotta keep going out and coming back in. All right, so I'm gonna sign off. Thank you, everybody, for coming. I really appreciate it. And we will see you next Monday night at 6 p.m. Have a wonderful evening, everybody. Bye.